Yo, what up everybody? So, this is Paul Lucas, five hours ago. So at two in the morning, basically. You are wrong about the driver's license thing in Florida, which you live, and every state is required for you to give your license. Here's the law specific for Florida. Yes, this is the law I quote every time, 322.15. Every licensee shall have his or her driver's license in his or her immediate possession at all times when operating a motor vehicle and shall present or submit. Present or submit. So this is the part he doesn't understand. You can present or submit your driver's license, insurance, and registration through the window. You do not have to talk to police. You do not have to roll it down your window. Everything they need is on those documents and they can do their job with those documents so you don't understand the law and warren redlich has clearly explained this and gone to court over it there's been many cases all right and logically it makes sense that this would be the case a driver's license is essentially proof of eligibility to use government maintained public roads this is a privilege not a right so, yes, driving is a privilege because driving is a commercial term. A driver, since early 1900, was defined as one who is employed. Private citizens are not employed. Private citizens pay for the roads. Private citizens have the right to travel on those roads. Commercial vehicles are using the roads to turn a profit. Therefore, they're conducting commerce on the roads that private citizens paid for therefore they would need a driver's license and license plates because they're engaged in taxable activity commerce private people are not well so yes driving is a privilege but traveling is a right one is private one is a commercial activity I know it's going to be hard for you to wrap your mind around this, buddy. Additionally, driving without a license is certainly illegal. Yes, driving. Driving is uh, transporting cargo or passengers for profit. Driving. That's what driving is. A driver, driving, operating, motor vehicle, those are all commercial terms. They don't uh, apply to private conveyances. So, failure to provide it. It is probable cause for the officer to detain and or arrest you. Well, if he's got you pulled over, he already has you detained. And if you submit or present, so if you submit or present your license, that threw me off a little. If you submit or present your license, they have all the information they need to write you uh, your traffic citation. Okay. Further, you were speeding. Whether it was truly 54 or 65 is not relevant. So you did commit a crime. So the stop was just. Okay, so this one here, Florida speeding starts at six miles per hour. So 54 would not be considered speeding in Florida. And he says, so you did commit a crime. No, no. Again, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Traffic code is not a crime. It's not traffic code is not laws. It's code. Okay. Crime requires victim or damages. It's called corpus delecti. So the stop was just. No, nope, the stop was not just because I was only going four over. First of all, secondly, I was not committing any type of crime bothering anybody or doing anything. I was peacefully traveling down the road minding my own business so here we go and i'm not a fan of your rant at the end either to me it doesn't matter what they do to you responding with violence verbal or otherwise okay i didn't respond with any violence okay violence would be like i'm gonna punch you in your face or i'll shoot you or let's fucking fight or whatever the case may be but i was not violent i was loud and obnoxious but not violent because i don't believe in violence to mis 
So mistreatment only makes things worse. Yeah, they were mistreating me. The armed men stopped a peaceful traveler on the side of the road because they wanted his money. If you can't see that, bro, you're you've been indoctrinated and brainwashed. And acting the way you did, you stop you stoops down to their level. Rather, what you perceive to be their level. You became the very thing you sought to destroy. No. You don't help anyone when you act indignant. You simply make things worse rather than make things worse, rather counterproductive, if you ask me. Uh, actually, if everyone did what I did at traffic stops, police wouldn't want to make traffic stops anymore. They'd be like, everyone's hostile. The people have had enough of this. And I'm not going to do it anymore. But if it's just me and no one else does anything, then you get the government you deserve. And here we go. And let's not get started on the numerous overgeneralization fallacies you used. A good thing you didn't get started on that because I would have rebutted every single one and destroyed you. You are no better than you perceive them to be. Paul Lucas. All right, Paul. I'm sorry. You're wrong. You don't understand the law. Um, you don't understand the Constitution. You're probably a liberal Bernie Sanders lover. So... What can I say? There you go. Congratulations, Paul. You got your facts twisted. Uh, you misconstrued the law. You used your own words instead of the words that were in the law. Nowhere in the law does it say give. It says present or submit, which can be done with the window rolled all the way completely up. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Consider becoming a paid member of the channel if you want. I love you. Peace, tranquility, bye.